Hello everyone, thank you for watching Lunar Dream Tarot. Um, okay, so today's reading. Um, I want to name it who has a crush on you, but um, I was kind of thinking more along the lines of who is your secret admirer. Regardless, um, what I'm going to do here is do you have a secret admirer? Um, if we get the no answer, because the cards will show me that, um, I will look into who is your next lover, because energy is always changing. I mean, you might not have a secret admirer right now, and then, you know, you go online and take a, a seductive picture or go out to work looking and smelling nice, and boom, there it is. And that can happen within minutes, days, you know, it's... <laughs> The energy I read is the energy at the moment. And as I advise, like, it can change at any given time. So with that, um, do you have a secret admirer? And I want to go into detail on what they look like, if it'll work out between you two, if they're going to make a move, and all that. Okay? We have five piles this time. So I'm trying to kind of expand a little bit and give you more options. So this is pile number one. Pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. So choose one. You can choose all because you might have multiple options here. There might be more than one admirer or maybe an energy where you don't have a secret admirer at the moment, but we'll have one in the future. Choose whatever you feel resonates, okay? Always go within yourself. Go and see what feels right, you know, at your core, your heart and your stomach. Alrighty, so um, with that, I will see you at your pile. Pile number one. All right. Do you have a secret admirer? Okay. At this time, no. However, please don't click off. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. You don't have a secret admirer because this person is a depressed person. Okay. Okay. This is a person who is already around you. So you've met a future partner, okay? Let me explain. So this is a person who constantly lives in their head and their emotions. And I mean, they can't see the bright side of things. Um, they might drink a little too much. Um, let me see here. Yeah, they might drink a little too much. And I mean... Pile number one, do you have a secret admirer? Okay, don't jump to conclusions, okay? Just let me explain. As of right now, no, you don't. Please hear me out, though. You do not have a secret admirer, but this gentleman is around you. He definitely is. Okay, this is someone with red light brown, or if he has dark brown hair, there's still like a red tinge to it. He has um, medium brown to hazel eyes. He stands up tall. He has an athletic build. Um, he might be even a little tanned. But yeah, he, he has a dad bod. But anyway, he's around you. Um, for some of you, I feel like it's... Um, Something like some type of medical professional. I, I don't, that's what I'm getting. But he's someone who provides care to people. But, and I'm getting the irony of maybe he's like a type of school counselor or maybe even a doctor. Um, he's just someone that you interact with, not quite on the daily, but he's, he's around you. And he hasn't taken notice of you because, um, He's too busy concentrating on the negative. He can't see the bright side of things. I feel like you're going to change that for him. You're going to give him a new beginning and show him the brighter side of life. So it's a romance blossoming from something that was already established. You guys have a, say, a doctor-patient relationship. You have a, you know, uh, maybe he is a school counselor for your child. Uh, maybe he's even your therapist, but he's someone who provides some type of care and he's around you. But like I said, um, he has either red hair or like brown or darker hair with a red tint. 
um, medium brown to hazel eyes. And he has like a tanned athletic build. And the best way I can describe him is dad bod. <laughs> they're not fat. They're not skinny. You know, they're just, they're just right. I don't, I, I think dad bods are sexy. But yeah, he is a very emotional person. He has not taken notice of you. At this time, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a secret admirer or not. You know, what matters here is you have someone that you're going to uh, end up with. And there might be some challenges Excuse me. There might be some challenges within the relationship, but you will get through them. And I think it has the potential to turn into something serious, a happy family. As I said, you're going to teach him to see the bright side of things. You're going to teach him that, you know, not everything is to be taken seriously. And he's going to admire that. And, you know, I, I think you two could even have a relationship. Let's see here. Well, pile number one's person approach them soon. Will they make a move? They're kind of waiting around right now for what I don't know. Hold on. King of Swords, so there's going to be some action, right? Woo! Holy shit. Okay, I guess that wasn't meant for me to see. Oh, we, oh, we have no worries. He's kind of waiting. He or she is kind of waiting around right now, trying to see what happens in their life. Um, although this is not the card for it, I feel like they're just kind of bored waiting to see what happens. And with that boredom or that impatience of like waiting to see what happens, they're going to spring into action. They're going to get like a new type of, um, mind frame you know they're going to be like you know what I need to make stuff happen and you know they're going to take notice and from there I'm going to see that they take notice of you and what's going to happen here a loving connection meant to be a soulmate so someone hasn't taken notice of you you haven't even taken notice of them maybe with this video and describing with what they look like and you might even kind of look like that but with like hair that has a red tinge. I'm referring to the male. Um, you know, now that you know what he looks like, you know, you might now take notice of who it is. But again, it's someone who's in the, they're a type of, in a type of healer. Maybe they're even like a male school nurse. Um, but someone who's around you that provides some type of care. It could even be a veterinarian, but care. That's what I keep hearing. Care, doctor, um, some type of nurse, nurse, nurse assistant, maybe even sports medicine with the seven of wands. Yeah. Maybe they work in like some type of sports medicine. So maybe they're like, um, um, they kind of assist, you know, maybe they're something to do with like child sports and they kind of assist. So kind of look out for that. They're going to take notice of you. I don't have a time frame, but yeah, they'll be taking notice of you, okay? So again, pile number one, no, you don't have a secret admirer just yet, but you have someone in your vicinity who you're going to end up with, and it's going to turn out beautiful, okay? All right, pile number one, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye. Pile number two, welcome to your reading. Okay, so do you have a secret admirer? Sorry, just kind of referring to something here. Yes, your secret admirer is a close friend. A close friend. And let's see here. They're a genius, a total genius. I wouldn't even doubt it if they're involved with like some type of computer type of work or they're really good on the computer, something of that sort. Um, hair. Hair is dark brown, again, with a tinge of red. Eyes are dark brown. Um, their skin color, they're very pale and they're very lanky, like tall and, and um, very agile. Okay. Um, for some of you, I wouldn't even doubt it if they have bright bluish grayish eyes and the stare is intense you know who i'm thinking of lip from shameless okay but with dark hair and i feel like i 
I feel like, you know, there will, there, if you guys were to hook up, there will be challenges within the relationship. Let's see here. If these two come together. Okay, so the challenges are that I feel like one person will be more obsessed with the other. One person will take the union more seriously than the other. And I feel like there might be like some manipulation um, through sex. Um, but the need to control maybe explosive fights. So what I'm getting here... Yes, it's a close friend, and it's a close friend who has probably had a lot of relationship issues, maybe got out of a relationship where they were completely betrayed, and they have their eye on you, and they're a genius, they're very smart, but um, if you two were to come together, there will be challenges, I feel like they're very affected by their last relationship, um, and it could even be like... Um, where they're really insecure, and when they're insecure or their ego is hurt, they'll lash out at you and make you feel, you know, as bad as they're feeling, or try to. Um, let me see. Can the relationship work? Can the relationship work? I mean, I think with the Ten of Wands, it's just going to be so challenging. And now the Nine of Swords. So, you know, there might be anxiety around it. Oh, wait, okay. Wow. And these two, three wanted to come out. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Yeah, your close, your secret admirer is a close friend. Um, if you two were to come together, there will be challenges. Um, they're really affected by a past relationship that didn't work out. They would have like some kind of fear or anxiety that you're going to do the same. I feel like you can tame their demon, their beast. I feel like you can make a difference in their life. If you're up for the challenge, this is it. And I feel like with that, um, something will be revealed to you where, you know, it's, it's just, it, it'll work out. It's just going, you're going to have to put in a lot of work. You're going to have to contain yourself emotionally and put them in their goddamn place. Like, you were hurt. We are friends. I'm not going to do the same. Get the hell over it. Or don't be with me at all. And with that, you will give them a new lesson, a new start in life, whether or not you two are together. So if you two are close friends and you want to come together, just know there will be issues. I think you two can work it out. And there will be a new start for both of you. Um, if not, a close friend has a crush on you. They're secretly admiring you. They wish they can be with you. You've been there for them through everything. You've given them advice, heard them out, and now they're falling for you. Okay? So, pile number two, that was your reading. Very short, but sweet. And have a good day. All right? Bye. All right. Pile number three. Do you have a secret admirer? Yes, you do. It's someone you've just met. Um, I feel like this is a person who seems unfazed. If my damn camera would focus. Okay, like he seems like unfazed, but I feel like they're a really shy person. A real shy person. Shy may be sensitive. Um... I don't get this as a love triangle. I feel like they're really, they're just really depressed. Let's see here. They have dark hair, um, dark brown or black. They have like a light hazel honey type of eyes, maybe even amber. They have an athletic tan build. Yeah, you see, I feel like that just describes them right away. You know, dark hair, but with light, pretty eyes. They seem unfazed, but they're really just shy and sensitive. Like, I feel like for some reason they're a dick. If it's a guy, <laughs> he comes off like a total jerk. But it's because he's guarding himself. And I feel like he's guarding himself because he is really depressed or he's been hurt in the past. But he looks at you and he's just like, my God. God, she's just gorgeous. And you see with these cards here, he sees you beaming in your own power. You're confident. You're powerful. 
Anything you set your mind to, you can do. And he's just kind of watching like, my God, I wish I could have her. Let me see here. Will this dude make a move? Is he just going to continue watching? Oh. It looks like he's just going to sit there. Like, he daydreams about you. And he daydreams about what could be. And when you are... I feel like there's another person that can possibly have a crush on you as well. And this is someone who is very, um, very sharp with his words, like a smart ass. Um, I feel like he's very sharp with his words. I mean, he can get out of any situation. This can be someone at work, but it's someone who's really funny, witty. He knows like all of the sarcastic things to say. Um, a very good communicative person, maybe even like an authority figure at your job, like a manager, supervisor, team leader. And... You know, this guy, he kind of sees you talking to him and he's just like, wow, I wish I could have that type of, you know, that type of um, encounter with her. But I don't, he probably like hasn't even like talked to you, like, like sat there and talked to you, but he daydreams about being with you. He sees you as so beautiful. He sees that, you know, you are just everything. And I feel like he might not be your type, but God, if you know who this is, don't bother making the next move. And I feel like he is a depressed individual because he has low self-esteem. I feel like something happened to where um, he's not confident enough to make the first move. Uh, maybe a girlfriend just cheated on him. He got out of a relationship. Um, I don't feel it was recent, though. So I feel like he hangs on to stuff. He won't make the next move. with you. Yeah, see, again, he's just kind of standing on the fence waiting for things to turn into his favor when really he needs to kind of let you know how he feels. So pile number three, if you know who this is, please, and you're interested, make a damn move because he ain't going to do it. Okay. So pile number three, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. All right. Bye. Pile number four. Alrighty. So do you have a secret admirer? This is another one. Yes. Yes. It's a very close friend. It's someone you have like a connection with like one minute you love each other the next minute you hate each other it is a friend though it might be same sex um oh i'm really feeling this is same sex but if not you know that you can be a male watching this video because i'm feeling a very high feminine confident energy um let's see here So this can be either brown hair or strawberry, strawberry blonde hair. I'm getting like blue greenish eyes. The skin is like an olive tan to dark. And they have like a very curvy build. If it's a female, she's curvy. If it's a male, you know, he's probably on the more um, huskier side. Like he's not skinny, but he's not like uh, fat or anything. He's just more like he's built. And... I feel like if you're a female watching this, he might have salt and pepper gray hair with um, tanned features and brown eyes. So let's see here. The possibilities of this working out? <laughs> Probably not. You guys are not compatible. Yeah, you're better off being friends. Jesus Christ. These cards have a lot to say and I'm not liking how they're just flipping the fuck out. Five and five. I'm going to leave that reversed. I don't read reversals. Oh, five, five, five. Okay. Jesus, maybe I should redo this reading. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Let's see here. Okay, so pile number four. I'm sorry. I stopped the video so I can go down and get the cards that fell out. It was quite a few. It doesn't really make things any better. <laughs> okay, look. Someone, I don't feel like it's a close friend. I feel like it's someone within your social circle or maybe even your work uh, circle. But it's someone who's around you. They're like an authority figure of a sort. Maybe like an interpreter. They have their own business. Or maybe they just work with you and they have like a side hobby that they're running and this person, you know, he seems cold and distant. 
or she does. If you guys are out at a party, I feel like you'll notice them because they're just kind of out there. You know, they just kind of sit out in the corner and just observe and watch everyone around them. Um, you know, financially, they might be up and down. Okay, so what flew out off camera was the lovers with the three of swords, the knight of swords, seven of cups, and the three of cups. So if you know who this person is, I feel like, you know, don't take them seriously. Just be very careful with yourself. I feel like they're just, they can't commit to one person. If you piss them off, they're just going to blow you off and, you know, give you the cold shoulder. And they really don't know what they want. Like, they're always living in la-la land. And maybe they're even like a heavy partier. Here's the Three of Cups. And, you know, with the three, three lovers, you know, and the King of Cups with the Seven of Cups, they have like this illusion of their love life. And they can't really like come back down to earth and realize what a real relationship is, what a good person is you know to be in a relationship with they they just want to have fun and they don't care whose heart they're breaking and they might even be like an obstinate bully like they're just a jackass they win you over um again at first I said this was a close friend but this is someone around you in your social circle so maybe you know them through a friend whatnot um and, you know, they might pursue you and like, oh, yeah, I can spend the rest of my life with you. And you're the woman or the man that I've always wanted to be with. And really, they're just full of shit. OK, so be very, very careful with that. You don't want to get caught up in that type of drama. Um, you'll know, though, you might catch them like in a lie to where they're trying to say, oh, yeah, I have all this money. I'm an entrepreneur and, you know, I run my own business and really, they're probably just selling, you know, something on offer up. <laughs> that's, you know, that's their business. And um, yeah, you might catch them in that. And that's the dead giveaway right away that, you know, they're probably they got their eye on you, but they're not for you. So don't waste your time on them. Or if you decide to take a chance, be very, very careful with your heart, okay? And I'm so sorry, pile number four, if that's not the answer you were looking for. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Um, you know, I I feel like from this reading, take the positive. Forewarned is forearmed. So now you know what to avoid, okay? So with that, pile number four, thank you for watching, okay? Bye. Pile number five. Pile number five. Wow. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I feel like the last pile is always the one that has the more positive, um, the most positive um, reading. But maybe that's just me. Pile number five. Do you have a secret admirer? Oh, yes, you do. Uh, this can be someone who's really creative, innovative, and um, even a student. They might currently be going to uh, college. They want to pursue a higher, a higher learning, though. Um, they don't just stop where they're at, no matter how much everyone around them sees them as successful. They want to. They're with them. There's always room for improvement, and they're probably like the jack of all trades, like. Um, you know, they might be really skilled in their work and then they're really creative, you know, at home and they really have great ideas. They're really talkative, lively. Um, they have like a youthful way about them. Like um, even though they might be more mature, like even 40, 50, you know, they're just really mature. They have like this childlike energy that's fun. It's spontaneous and, you know, nothing can get them down. They're so positive. I feel like whatever... Um, Whatever they set their mind to, they're going to conquer it. Now, can it work out? Yes, I'm feeling like this is a highly compatible and a soulmate relationship. Now, as for what they look like, um, they have dark hair. I'm getting more black, um, black with salt and pepper gray, or just all dark, dark brown. Uh, they do have dark eyes. I'm feeling like even like a, even if there's like a hint of green, it's really dark brown, but they have dark brown to, you know, 
dark brown to um, like a dark hazel, if that makes sense. Their eyes are weird. It looks like they're wearing contacts, but they're natural. Um, they have very fair skin. They might burn easily. And I feel like they have a very muscular build. They're really, really solid. Or they might look weak, but they're actually very strong and built underneath. They might work out, but it doesn't really show. Like, they don't wear clothes that reveal, you know, their muscles. But they're, you know, it's nothing heavy. Okay? Now, um, if it's a female, I just feel like I have to mention that she has super short hair. This keeps standing out to me. Okay? If it's a male, I feel he has long hair for a guy so it might be long wavy curly let's see here please give me more information about pile number five please don't fly the hell out of this deck like you've been doing just give me straight forward messages and i feel like these want to come out okay beautiful yeah, this is a strong soulmate relationship. Very, very strong. And this person... I feel like you may have gone to like a seminar, a class, uh, maybe even a meetup to kind of like um, to expand your social network. Not your social network, I'm sorry, networking, networking, like maybe you're you're into some type of business or you're learning about it and you went to like a networking potluck or dinner and you met this person and this person has their eye on you. They might be, they're like in contact with like a boss or a teacher that's around you and they get to see you from time to time, but they're very slow moving. They want to ask you on a date. But they're very indecisive about it because they don't know how you would react. However, I feel like they are going to make a move. Um, they're going to find the chance to um, kind of approach you. And I feel like it's going to be, again, like at a party or some type of creative event that you both will be attending. And then they will come to you and, um, and ask you out. And from there, you know, as I said, they're slow moving. Um... You know, even though they're so lively and so spontaneous, it's like when it comes to you, they just kind of shy down. But I feel like, you know, they want to give you, they're a soulmate. They feel this connection with you. Um, like there's just something about you since they've seen you. The, okay, I'm sorry. What I'm hearing is they cannot get you off their mind. And I feel like you've seen them and you cannot get them off of your mind. You might have even dreamt them. And you're like, wow, I don't even know this person. Why am I dreaming them? It's because you two are spiritually united. You two are connected. And I feel like um, I'm hearing by, by springtime. Oh, wait. No, I'm hearing by November. Shit. November, they will make their move. So next month, they're going to make their move and give you, you know, a cup of love. So usually when you first saw this person, they're, you know, loud. They're really lively, spontaneous. I, I keep getting like this high party vibe, you know, someone who can walk into a room and really work it. Um, so you took notice of them and you two noticed each other, but they're more hooked on the idea like, oh my God, I feel a connection where to as you, you might dream them from time to time or think of them because they're thinking of you and you just don't know where it's coming from. Um, but when they see you, they're just really, really shy. And I feel like they're going to come to you and offer their cup of love. They're going to come to you and conquer you. Um, Yeah, and I feel like it's going to be a new beginning, but by November, they're making their move. You two will get to know each other, and I feel that by springtime, you two will be a couple, okay? All right, so pile number five, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome weekend and a great day, all right? Bye.